I think that's a town. I think that's a town. Hi, everybody. My name is Spamos, and welcome back to Landless. I bet you thought I'd forgotten about this series, didn't you? Admit it. Anyway, in the previous episode, we made ourselves a houseboat that fell over. We found ourselves a ginormous ship that was empty, and we had weather. It was a riveting, action-packed episode. We have loads more comments like before. Bruce! We have outstanding name suggestions once again, like Bruce Atania, the SS Yes Mate, the SS Bruce. There's quite a lot of Bruce's HMS Amazeballs, Spamic, the HMS N McNugget. These are great suggestions, but one that really jumps out at me is HMS Concord. And that's because it reminds me of our, our old, old Let's Play of Dive to the Titanic, but also because of our Kingdom series, where we first did this interaction with the comments. So I'm really enjoying Concord. I was feeling Bruce, but now I'm feeling Concord. If you want to keep suggesting names for the boat, go ahead. But let's try to talk about something else in the game, things you like about the game, things you want to be in the game, where you see this going, stuff like that. We can mix up the conversation. Anyway, I have fantastic news. The guys behind the game, Code Bullet, they've been watching our series as we've been going along. I've been talking to them behind the scenes, giving them feedback and suggestions, and they've been kind enough to provide a game key so one of you at home can get a free copy of the game. So, if you really like this game and you want to play it for yourself, number one, subscribe to the Spammles. Number two, give the video a like. And number three, leave a comment down below saying, oh my god, I would love to have a copy of this game. That would be amazing. I will collect all of those up, I'll throw them into a random generator, and we'll pick ourselves a winner in the next episode after this one. So, there you go. Competition time for everybody. Now, let's get into the episode. What we're doing today, we're going to hand in those black boxes. That's about it. I don't know what happens, happens after that. We're going to kind of go as we go. So, without any more stalling, let's begin. Welcome back to the game. So, check it out. A couple of things have changed. There have been some updates. They've updated the graphics engine so it looks a little bit nicer. And number one I've changed is the base. It's no longer ginormous. It kept toppling over. I got back to camp after filming the last episode. It was upside down. But I had to take away the tower but we still have the base we've got a couple of stories and we've got a rooftop Let me give you a quick tour real quickly the boat docking station is still here with these lamps and everything to guide you in oh this one is turning on a boob you come inside the house honey i'm home to your right hand side oh balls aches what the fuck's this shit well there's a bit of the floor missing for one that was definitely there when i closed the game before well anyway through there is a storage room that's amazing there's a guy over there i'm watching you I saw what you did. I got myself a workbench here. It's like the one on the boat. I can make things. It's amazing. Over here is the master bedroom. There's my child size bed developers. It's too small. I've had turds larger than this. Those pillows look like bars of soap that I'd rub my ass with anyway. Leaving there, we go upstairs and this takes us to a large open area. That's also amazing. Every now and then the whole building shifts, it scares me. Going up even further, you have the rooftop with the lovely benches that stop us going overboard. And there's more floor missing. Developer person, somebody is stealing my floorboards. I demand to know more. Uh, that's just... Oh, yeah. This room has the TV antenna inside of it so that whenever we go exploring, we can always find our way home. Right, 22 black boxes. Let's go hand these in and have good times. Whee! What's up, my friend? Look, you're still ginormous. Nice, you got a black box. I got 22 of them. I just... I... The amount of tech points you get randomly goes up and down. We have more tech points than a tech lab that prioritizes in the pointing system of technology. Okay, uh, where am I going? The boat! Whee! Oh. Okay, welcome back on the boat. I got 195 tech points. That's amazing. So we can buy things like upgrading our rudder and our engine. There's now a, a spike harpoon system. That's awesome. But what's important, because the whole point of the black boxes and the tech points was to find the eco people. But I'm not sure how that works. Okay, I'm going to buy an eco radio and the eco computer and maybe a new engine and see how many points after that. So here we go. Learn it. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Okay, we failed. I think that means bad guys are coming in. Where? Where? Oh, got it! Ooh! Oh, go fuck yourself! Bird? He's fucking dead. I'm much happier with this system. This makes a lot more sense. Did I lose points? Wait, I had more than 189, didn't I? Hey, learn it. A boob. So, boop! Fucked it again. Yeah, I lost points. That's bullshit. I'm losing points every time I fail. Oh, there's three of them. Woo! Fucked it. Oh, reload, you clever dick. Woo! And woo! 
And one more for luck. Oh, shit. Right. Got it. Nailed it. Poof. Poof. Last one. Last fucking. Fuck yeah. Right. We only wasted like nearly a hundred eco points. I have learnt myself a basic radio. Oh, sorry. An eco radio. What the fuck does that mean in life? Okay. I'm not happy with how many points I lost. I'm going to reload the game. I'll see you when I got this first time without fucking it up. Okay. Got it! Right, I only failed it once. We've already got plenty more points than last time. I also want to get the eco computer. Nice! We are nailing this. Right, what the fuck can we do with these two things? One eco radio, if you do, please, good sir. One. That costs, okay, that's fine. I've got loads of resources. Thankfully, because of the last episode where I farmed for an entire day getting loads of everything, we now have an abundance of everything from whale oil to resources. There we go. Whoop de doo, Basil. I got myself a radio. What do I do now with it? It simply gives me an amplify rating of 11. Whatever that means. Okay, well, wait, wait, wait. Let's not, let's not throw the toys out the pram just yet. Oh, the eco computer. Is a radio add-on, so I'm assuming you can have like one radio and then an add-on that accompanies it in the secondary slot. That's I, I assume that's how that works, right? So let's make one of those, please. Did somebody say they wanted an eco computer? Well, one, please. Thank you. Let's try this out. So back to this. Yes, confirmed. Right. What does this mean in the long run? This radio is giving me the same shit I'm always getting. Help! I need someone to fuck yourself. Anybody out there? No. I need help! Do you now? Please help. Everyone's such a needy little bitch. It's in progress. We've got a more powerful radio. Wait, ma map? I have no idea how this thing... But I swear it said requires makeshift battery. Yeah. Right. Can I make a battery? Right. What is this? I can move it! Why does... This makes no fucking sense. I got a golden something. I got fucking seven chests. Okay, six chests. What does this mean? What point is it if I can fucking move it? Like I scanned that area. That stuff is in that area. Where am I in this this map of, of situations? Developer guy, this makes no sense. This makes not a single ounce of sense. Okay, I'm gonna learn the eco generator to accompany my heavy engine, okay? I'm learning the eco propellers because why the fuck not? Okay, got us propeller blades. There you go with the engine. Wow, our force rating is 65 out of 100. I believe that means our boat goes batshit crazy now. The Bruce is gonna take that guy out. Fuck yourself. Okay, eco circuit coming up. Poof. And here it goes. Poof. My amplifier went up a teeny bit. Eco chain coming up. Right, so I have an idea. Okay, so after this, I'm done messing around with the blueprints because it's great. We're upgrading our boat. It's stronger and faster than ever before. And that is fantastic news for everybody. Watch this. Poof. Our strength just went up shitloads. Screw it. I'm going to jump cut this to shit. But I'm making an eco motor and we'll make a, a way, an eco barrel as well, okay? Just to fill this last lot up. Boof, look at this. Right, we've got myself an eco barrel and an eco motor. Watch as we slap those bad boys in. Boof, stats, the rate and strength just went through the roof. Now the barrel, boof, the, the rate went up a bit more. I don't even know what rate means. Okay, we're saved. So we can't lose anything we just got. Now we've handed in all our black boxes. We've pimped our boats out. That's amazing, but that's a boring video. So I want to do something exciting. And I remember there's this guy up here, right? And if you pay him 100,000 whale oil deposits, you can do a run to the next town. Now, I don't know if that means a floating little shack on the horizon or a big city, another town like the one we stood on. So we're going to do this because it has to be done in a single setting. You can't reload the game. So... Oh, I have to go on that? Really? Can I not take my boat? My boat's better than that. Oh, fuck me, okay? Oh, I get my boat and I tow it. Okay, hang on, hang on. Oh, look at this thing go! It's practically flying! That is amazing. Right, so... Tow platform? That's not working. Oh, now we're going. Now we're good. Now we're towing. Yes! Now, where the fuck am I going? Well, there's a map. It's got a doodad on it. Maybe over there. Pray for the best. But it sure is shifting fast. It started to rain. Whoop de doo, Basil. I should have got some more fuel before coming out here. Well, look, there's other traders coming this way. So we must be going in the right direction. 
If we discover a whole nother town, that would be amazing. That would, like, give me excitement about the future of this game. Because right now, like, if there's nothing there, then right now I'm thinking that this game is kind of on pause until they put more content in. But we'll have to wait and see. I swear this beacon is getting no closer towards us. Am I just sailing out to my death? Oh, oh, structures up ahead. Hang on, hang on. I think that's a town. I think that's a town. It could just be a platform. It could be just a boat, a houseboat. But I don't know, the structure looks like a proper structure, like a proper house on a proper landmass, on a proper place. We might have found the next town. And that means we know how the map works, at least our mini map. Fuck you, salt of pirate bitches. Lots of things appeared on the map. What the hell? Okay, stop here a second. Stop here one second. Pirates coming in to try and steal my stuff. Fuck yourself. Fuck yourself. I killed everybody, more or less. One last guy. I can't get to you unless you move. Oh, Jesus. I'm stuck on the raft. It's pushing me. Oh, God. I've got myself in fucking trouble now, haven't I? Oh, get overboard. Right, swim, 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 swim. Boys, boys, boys! Right, I was going to sink your boat unless you get out of my way. Don't think I won't. I got a bigger gun than you, and you're a bigger douchebag than me. I'm winning this war. You are fucked. Yeah, you are. Look at you. Fucking dead, mate. Goodbye. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another town. Hang on. Look at this place. Welcome. It says welcome. Okay. Look at this docking ramp. Okay, so where do I take this? Did somebody order supplies? Ah, uh, crashing. Move! Jesus Christ! Ah, that looks like a collection point. Maybe. Oh, yes, mate! We got an achievement, the Turtle Express. Block me alongside. Whee! Sup, mate? Welcome to the Turtle Express. We're looking for some new contractors that can handle big shipments to the next town. Of course, you need a hundred thousand rail or deposit just in case you get lost. Remain late in the game, blah, 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 blah. Nice. So that's how I progress through the map because he gives me the coordinates to take me to the next town. Or is he going to take me back to the town I just came from? Right, hang on me. Anyway, let's explore the town real quick. And then I think that's, that's pretty good. The water's getting really choppy. That's neat. Little boarding ramp. What the fuck was that? Okay. I uh, got the diving suit really high up in the air. Nice, nice. Oh, boys, boys, boys. I'm excited about this. Open. What's up, mate? Hi, I'm from another place. That's cool. You got food. I like food. That's cool. I'm liking this. I love this dock. And these slats, they're totally different. We haven't seen slats like that before. I'm getting excited over fucking wood. Really? What do you sell, if anything? I can buy an engine and stuff like that. Don't care. Oh my god, there's a gun shop! Pistol, shotgun, assault rifle. Wow, a sniper rifle is going to cost you a sweet half a million whale oil. Well, pretty lucky that I found mine just floating around and it sells for 5,000. Are you shitting me? Okay, well, he's got kind of fuck all to buy. Whee! I'm loving this kind of, like, I don't know, it's like a... A rebel outpost is made of scrap metal and stuff. This, I'm guessing, is a prison or a hotel or a bit of both. Don't pay your bill, you're never leaving kind of thing. Who puts bars on the windows of a floating building? That's asking to get drowned. Okay, well, that's the new town fully explored. It's not as big as I was hoping, but you know what? It's a nice relief just to get away from the other place. But I'm thinking this is the way forwards. This is how we progress through this world we're going to go town to town and then we kind of you know get our resources maybe do some missions to build up don't die don't die Ugh. do some missions to build up your supplies and your money and your whale oil and you buy yourself a ticket to the next place so we're out of curiosity alone yeah start trade okay so i just kind of debunked myself i just took the next mission and it appears if anything to be sending me back home again because there's no new beacons out that that direction just the one kind of back where we came from. Okay, I won't bore you people with that. So I'm going to call that an episode right about there. Oh, there you go, lovely water. 
But I apologise if today's episode was a little bit dull. I mean, we were doing necessities. We had to get blueprints. We had to upgrade our boat. And now we have explored that. We understand what it presents. And right now it's giving us a faster boat. And that's about it. And we found ourselves a new town. That's quite exciting for a moment. But then instantly filled with kind of a, oh, fucking hell. As it kind of amounts to nothing. Don't forget, there is the competition. If you want to win a free copy of this game, remember the rules. It's at the introduction to this video. It was subscribe, like, and you have to say keywords. That was at the beginning of the video in the introduction. Anyway, I don't know 100% when the next episode is, because I don't know 100% what we're going to do. But I will listen to you guys in the comments. We'll come to a plan together. That just turned, like, really black and really white all of a sudden. Uh. That's an episode. So, on that bombshell, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll See you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.